There's a strong argument that says if we want technological innovation to continue, we have to find ways of getting younger generations interested in computing. Here in the UK, public service broadcaster the BBC has an ambitious plan for doing just that. The Microbit is a tiny computer that will be distributed for free to every UK child in the Year 7 year group, which means kids around 11 to 12 years of age. Very small and extremely basic, the Microbit is a sort of blank canvas, through which kids can let their imaginations run wild, bending its many elements to their creative will to create all manner of projects. Set to enter schools in October, this microcomputer is built for flexibility. It has 25 LEDs on the front, two programmable buttons, a built-in accelerometer and a compass. It hooks up to sensors or other devices via five input and output rings and also packs Bluetooth. Coding happens through a Microsoft-built interface which, because it's browser-based, can be accessed from loads of different devices. The Microbit follows in the footsteps of Raspberry Pi, which is similarly aimed at getting kids into coding, but with buttons and LEDs right on the front of the device plus a huge push into schools, the BBC's new toy could potentially make more of an impact than other microcomputers to date. The BBC says it hopes the Microbit's flexibility will push forward the Internet of Things, a term that describes all the tech in our lives becoming interconnected. Although kids using the micro bits won't remember, the BBC does have form when it comes to computing, aiming with its newest gadget to match the success of the BBC Micro in the 80s, a machine that was hugely influential in getting a whole generation into programming and into computers. More than 30 years later, can the BBC repeat that trick? Let me know what you think and stay tuned to CNET.